Thank you for inviting me. As your keynote speaker today, I'm Su Jung Shin, head of Enterprise Business Group of Korea Telecom. I'm honored to be with you at GTI Summit, one of the finest working groups in the mobile industry. Today, in the age of digital transformation, I'd like to talk about the opportunities and challenges telecommunication companies face in the 5G B2B market. First thing to address would be the role of 5G in digital transformation era. Then real world experience K2 went through, followed by our 5G B2B plan. A vast number of Korean companies are attempting to embrace digital transformation. There are three factors to point out when speaking of this change. The first factor driving these environmental changes is the disruption of traditional industry digital companies brought. For example, digital companies like Uber and Tesla are emerging as new competitors of automakers. And competition between traditional retail enterprises and digital-based retail dinosaurs is intensifying. The second factor is the exploration in business growth. Traditional companies are experiencing limits to their growth. How could they overcome low growth and create new value? The last factor would be the COVID-19. How should business cope with the drastic changes in the way they work, COVID-19 brought? The implementation of digital transformation turned out to be a major factor to ensure survival and growth of a company. Therefore, they have to consider digital transformation prior to anything else. KT Enterprise is an organization in charge of KT's B2B business. Our ambition is to be an enabler and a partner for DX of our customers. The sales volume marks about 3.6 billion US dollars. More than 50% of the orders we obtained are from DX businesses. Our job is to integrate digital technologies, including AI, big data, and cloud into our 5G infrastructure and help our customers make digital transformation that meets their business needs. We aim to be a digital, a digital platform company beyond the telco. We create core DX platforms based on telecommunication such as cloud, IDC, transportation DX, energy DX, ITO, contact center DX, and safety DX. We are leading the digital transformation by applying these services and platforms to each industry. We are not only the number one in the B2B communication area, but also the best service provider in the digital area in Korea. Of various wireless and wild telecommunication infrastructure, the basis of our B2B business, 5G would be the core infrastructure. After KT successfully showcased the world's first 5G Olympics at Pyeongchang, in 2018, we commercialized 5G for the first time in the world as well. In 2019, we commercialized the first private 5G for enterprises, allowing enterprises to utilize exclusive 5G networks separated from the public 5G networks. Since the launch of Edge Cloud Services in the same year, we have explored and commercialized more than 150 use cases in collaboration with customers and partners 
in various industries. Let's share some representative cases and look into DX business opportunities we have found in B2B area. First, let me introduce how 5G can be utilized as an office network in the government domain. In the past, government agencies built their intranet based on the static IPs with strong concern in security. However, access to the business system from public network via VPN from outside duty or business trips required complex steps. They were vulnerable in terms of the security as well. As COVID-19 forced them to take a leave for digital transformation, the government converted the static IP-based office network into 5G, adapting new work environment. Now they have secured and safe access to their business system away from the office through a dedicated device without installing additional software or changing IP. Based on the successful pilot project carried out in cooperation with KT and a government agency, we are planning to apply this to more agencies in the years to come. This could be a great example of innovating the way the government agencies work with 5G-based smart office, bringing additional opportunities to expand our business to the private sector. Next, in the field of education, I'd like to share what we went through to build a smart campus with 5G for a military academy in Korea. COVID-19 also boosted the demand for contactless education. KT is carrying out projects with hologram lectures, allowing remote access to the class. To overcome the limitations of the ship's internal environment that can now accommodate many trainees and the ship's structure that is not easy to understand, we plan to conduct education with digital twin-based AR-VR contents in order to improve learning experience. We analyze physical training with a 360-degree matrix view and provide feedback to learn accurate and detailed demonstrating actions. We build a 5G network and MEC infrastructure for these services. Next, 5G-based smart factory business model for small and medium plans to drive digital transformation. To help them increase their productivity and hold competitive advantage, we provided machine vision and robots to automate simple repetitive production process. Data generated from production equipment could be collected in real time on the cloud via 5G network built in the factory. Analyzed with AI, this data optimizes facilities and production processes. This has vitalized predictive maintenance and increased productivity. Following is a case applying digital technology to a Korean army unit. As part of an effort to innovate resources, infrastructures, and system of national defense with application of digital technology, we built a pilot model of smart military camp using 5G platform. Wearable devices allow to manage health condition of the soldiers in real time, such as heart rate, blood pressure, and body temperature. We built an environment that can track locations and status of military vehicles in real time to support the efficient execution of military operations. Also, 
The sensors attached to the firearms can manage the carry-in and take out of the firearms in real time. Likewise, this required to build the 5G-based infrastructure. Finally, the followings are cases of cooperative intelligent transport system built for a local government. We established the concept of digital road in Jeju Island, Korea. We built an environment where all traffic information can be shared with each other via vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. In addition, the central control center detects the location of a vehicle which needs to move urgently, such as patient transport, and it controls traffic signals to give the vehicle priority to move. These services could be implemented by integrating 5G, IoT, cloud, AI, and big data. This is a representative example of Transportation DX. Korean government is pushing ahead with Korean version of New Deal, which will make a large-scale investment of 140 billion US dollars by 2025 to secure national competitiveness. 5G is an axis that is central to this investment. The government has set up an investment plan worth 176 million US dollars to expand 5G-based network and to develop 5G MEC-based conversion services for central agencies and 17 local governments. About 17.4 billion US dollars will be invested in smart cities, industrial complexes, and contactless industries. KT is planning to cooperate with the government in all processes, from demonstration project stage to successful commercialization. As mentioned above, the market is expected to grow high with various attempts in 5G B2B area. But there are difficulties that need to be overcome for full-scale activation of 5G B2B. First of all, clear customer value is not provided that customers can justify the adoption of 5G. The slow development of devices and application services is also acting as a factor for delaying the spread of 5G. In addition, many companies perceive 5G as a simple network rather than a platform. KT is driving 5G B2B based on three axes. Value creation based on a differential technology, partnership, and platformization. First, KT is actively developing differential technologies so our customers can use value-added 5G. Bolstering network slicing technology that can separate traffic for each application using 5G and expanding QVPN technology that can apply quantum cryptography technology to strengthen security of 5G. In addition, we are pushing the transition from NSA to SA to provide perfect 5G B2B services. Further, we are developing lightweight private MEC equipment to build 5G MEC easily. We are continuing our efforts to expand 5G equipment lineup and to secure competitiveness of module price in collaboration with manufacturers. In addition, we are developing industry-specific edge terminal, including CCTV and drone and application software in cooperation with SMBs. 
Further, we are working hard to jointly build infrastructure in remote areas in collaboration with domestic telecommunication companies for faster spreading of 5G. Finally, we want to create an environment where 5G can be a platform and DX enabler available to implement various services beyond a simple network. We are continuing to fuse digital technologies like AI, big data, and cloud based on 5G. And to spur the acceleration of digital transformation in various areas such as manufacturing, medical care, and transportation. I wish every attendee could create a productive partnership in commercializing 5G B2B. And I look forward to meeting you in person in the next GTI Summit. Thank you.